Okay, I've moved this equation up here. Now, let's apply this equation to this entire free body and kinetic diagram. Left hand side, looking at the whole free body diagram, knowing that these two forces pass through point B. So the moment arm is zero, which means that these two forces don't create any moment at all. So they drop out of this equation. So the only two forces to survive are these two. Now I define positive direction as counterclockwise. So FD force will create a positive moment because it's counterclockwise. Times moment R, let's call it R1 for now. Second term, due to this weight, has a negative moment because it points down and creates a clockwise moment. Okay. So mg times moment r, we put r2 for now, and we figure it out very soon. That's off the left hand side. Right hand side, i alpha term. So i about b okay, times alpha okay, of this uh, rigid body. Now, since this point that we're taking is not the center of gravity, okay, it's point b instead. Now, and also, since the fact that this link BD is experiencing a general rigid body motion, so it's not rotating about a fixed point, okay, it's not rotating about point B. So we cannot use the, uh, the equation in the back of the book okay, for IB, for slender rod, okay, but instead, we need to split that into two terms using parallax theorem. This equals I at center of gravity times alpha of BD plus the effect of the linear acceleration, which is M AG, this term right here, times the other, you can call it moment around as well. Okay, so that the distance between this vector and point B. Okay, so I'm going to call it R3. Okay, so let's try to figure out what R1, R2, and R3 are. So, to figure out the distance, I need to draw a triangle. Okay, let's draw this triangle at this instant right here. So it looks something like this. So this is 300, this is point B, point D, this is 180 right here, and this is a right triangle. Okay, so you can easily figure out that this is 240, right? And this is actually, if you divide each side by 60, this is 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5 triangle. So this angle, okay, can be calculated quite easily. 36.86 degrees, if you like. Okay. I also want to draw a line from this middle point because that's your my center of gravity. Okay, draw straight down. So this distance is half of 240. That's 120. Okay. Let's see. FD times the moment arm. So FD is acting this way. Okay, so if I extend this line of action down, so the moment arm, which is perpendicular to this line of action, is exactly this whole thing. So that's my R1, which is 240. R2 is the moment arm for the, um, the weight which is coming straight down, so, which is this line is 4, so this is R2, which is half of R1, okay? Now R3, however, okay, is the perpendicular distance okay, between this acceleration vector and point B. So depending on the direction of this vector right here, my R3 will be different, okay? If my AG points, let's say, this way, Right, my R3 would be 
this little short distance right here. If my AG point, let's say, this way, okay, if I extend this line of action, then my R will be different. So, since my AG is not known at this point, I'm going to have to keep R3 as the unknown, and this tied to this AG, okay, which is unknown at this point, okay. So, but that's all right, okay. We just write down what we know and figure out how we can get the rest of the unknown. So, I'm going to move everything else to right hand side, leaving FD, ultimate unknown on the left hand side. Um, by the way, mass is given, mass of BD is 3 kilograms. So, I have I about G alpha plus MAG times R3 and plus MG times R2 divided by R1. Okay, and I can write down all the known quantities right now. So, IG is 112 M L square L is the length of BD, right, which is 300. So I'm gonna just write this down. So mass is 3 kilograms. L is 300, which is 0.3 meters square. This is my IG times alpha BD. Second term mass, 3 kilograms, AG, I don't know, times R3, also don't know, but they're related. Third term, 3 kilograms times 9.81 times R2, which is 120 millimeters, which is 0.12 meters, divided by R1, which is 240 millimeters, which is 0.24 meters. Okay, so far I have this equation for FD. I don't know alpha BD. I don't know AG. Okay, and R3, once again, I don't know, but it's, it's tied to AG. So once AG is found, I can figure out R3 right away. Okay, so, so this is not exactly an unknown, but okay, we just keep that in mind, right? The rest, they are numbers. Okay, now with these two extra guys to be figured out, and they're both acceleration. So, we can just go back to the previous chapter, kinematics, to try to find acceleration. Okay, so at this point, right, so what kind of done, okay, as far as kinematics go. I want to go back to kinematics. I right, go through all the maybe the instantaneous center method and then going through the acceleration calculation and then come back to this equation. Alright, so I'm gonna call this equation one.